Let's see if we can make one of these fuses blow up. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. In one of my last videos, I mentioned that I'm fusing each one of these connectors uh, with one of these guys, a 30 amp blade type fuse. And one of my viewers commented and said that these won't work with uh, the battery voltage that I'm running. This is 44 volts right now. He said that these guys are only meant for cars and trucks, so 12, 24 volt systems. And that's a real concern. I want to make sure that if this filament blows, that it actually does cut the circuitry. So I'm going to set up a test and we'll see if this blows and stops the electrical current or if it arcs across that little middle connector part. And, uh, and if it does arc across, that's a real problem and I'll have to find some different fuses. So I bought them on Amazon and the listing does not state what the maximum voltage is for these fuses. This is one of the battery wires from the Chevy Volt battery. This is a circuit breaker that can handle up to 150 volts DC. Uh, and I picked this up because I'm going to be wiring it into the inverter. But in this video, I'm going to use it as my disconnect. In case something catches fire, I can throw this. We have a baseboard electric heater and I've connected it up with the fuse on one side and then the circuit breaker on the other. Uh, yes, the circuit breaker should probably be over here, but if this is sparking, uh, I want it to keep my hand away from it. Here's the fuse. Let's give it a shot. So it still seems to be okay. Well, the fuse didn't blow. Uh, I guess that heater is just not powerful enough. I realized I don't need a load. I can just short circuit this because all I'm doing is testing the fuse. So this is short circuited. The fuse is in. Eleanor is our safety monitor. Let's test this fuse and see what happens. So it did break the circuit successfully. So the main question that I wanted answered was, will these little blade fuses protect the batteries if there's a short circuit? And the answer is yes. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.